on this video I just thought I'd take a quick look at my completed Dreamcast SD card reader mod here and I've now finished it so it's all built into the the system it's all kind of hidden from view and I've got a wee SD card reader slide, uh, slot on the side there so what I'll do is I'll pop this open and show you how it's all rigged up and as you can see it's all built in there and what I've got is a SD card interface on the side here and I've just soldered some wires onto that onto the strip board that you can see in my uh, previous videos if you watch those and just hot glued that into place and cut a wee groove in the side there but I'll show you more detail of that in a minute instead of wiring up a new board what I did is I just took the old interface off there and binned that and just extended the wires from the, the strip board here See the wires are, are routed uh, around there and underneath the, the power board and I've also extended the LED that used to be on the, the strip board and just run some wires from it around there and drilled a wee hole on the, the front of the Dreamcast and mounted it in there just using a bit of hot glue to keep that in place but that's pretty much it, quite simple, uh, nice and tidy now so I had to put some tape around the the strip board there just so it didn't short out and anything inside the Dreamcast but yeah works nice and it's nice and tidy you can see there a bit of player but got the nice VSD card slot on the side so what I'll do is I'll pop this back together again and fire it up and you can see it working so that's everything back together again now and you can see the wee LED in the front there so it's just your activity LED and that's uh, just put in a UV LED that I had lying around so it's kind of purpley colour um, kind of goes with the, the blue LED I've got installed in there now so if we turn around you have a look at the side you see there's a SD card slot that I've cut out of the, the case and your SD card here just slot that in and that's you so you can load up your, your SD card with your homebrew your retail games whatever and just pop it in there and fire up the Dreamcast. Um, got the SD card loader in there, Dream Shell. So I'll just fire this up and you'll see the, you're hopefully able to see the Wii LED blinking away as it loads. But um, yeah, very simple mod, nice and clean. You wouldn't notice it was even there. Um, apart from the Wii LED in the front, which you can see now. Should just blink away as it loads up. Like that. But yeah. Um, to cut the SD card slot out, what I did was I. You can see it there. All I used was a, like a craft knife and a wee mini file here just to get a nice clean finish on it needed to take a wee bit off the, the top of the modem as well, I don't know if you can see that you can see it against the background there you can see there's a wee groove cut out to that and just fit it all back on together like that and that's your wee kind of discreet SD card slot on the side there you wouldn't even know it was there but yeah, what I'll do is I'll show you some uh, retail games booting from the SD card slot some of them work some of them don't um, but, I mean for the most part you can get you can pre get pretty much all of them to run it's just whether or not they're playable um, so what I'll do is I'll show you a couple of the ones that are playable and a couple of a couple of the ones that aren't so yeah okay so I've got dream shell loaded in the background here and if you can see it it's quite dark but I've got the, the Dreamcast right here and the, the drive is open there's no disc in the tray and I've got the controller here what I'll quickly do is just show you some of the retail games running from the, the SD card some of them work better than others um, you'll find that some of them the frame rate is kinda off and it makes it difficult to play, they're not really playable but some of them work okay um, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll show you the one, one or two that work well and one or two that don't work well and just give you a quick idea uh, so I'll just start up this Tokyo Highway Challenge here. 
and you can see it will start to load the wee LED. What I'll maybe do is I'll just edit out the, the load times because it can take quite a while to load. So I've just skipped past all the menu screens here and I've just gone straight into the, the loading screen for the, the main game. And in a minute you'll be able to see the game running. This is Tokyo Highway Challenge and it's, it seems to run pretty well from the, the SD card. Kind of reminds me a bit of Burnout, that kind of arcade style racing game. It should load up in just a second. There we go. As you can see, runs pretty pretty smooth. I'll just have a quick go of this. Yeah, as I say, it kind of reminds me a bit of um, Burnout. Well, this car is quite difficult to control. But yeah, as you can see, very playable. <laughs> Too terrible. But yeah. So I'll move on to the next game and show you show you something else running. So here I'm playing a bit of Sonic Adventure. And frame rate's not too bad. The game's quite playable. Which is not too bad at all. It's a wee bit jerky, but it's playable. You get the kind of idea. Could be a wee bit better, but there you go. So we'll move on to the next game. So here's a game that doesn't play quite as well. And it's a Dead or Alive 2. The music's kind of jerky and the, the frame rate's way off. So I mean for a fighter it's not even it's not really playable at all. Load times are pretty bad as well. I'll just show you a quick, ma a quick match here. Give you an idea. As you can see the loading times are quite high. The audio is kind of creepy. Not too good. I'm trying to skip past this wee intro. It's kind of like playing it in slow motion. I can at least win one match. There we go. But yeah, not really playable, so. So I'll move on to the, the final game and show you that running. So the final retail game I'm going to show you running here is Namco Museum. And this runs near enough perfectly. You've got all the different games here you select. So I'll quickly play a game of Pac Man just to show you it running. There you go. But this one, this one runs flawlessly. Basically, there's no frame rate issues or anything with Pac-Man, but that's probably not too surprising. But yeah, overall, most games are run from the SD card. You'll need to patch all of them. But other than that, yeah, it's probably just a case of trial and error, find which ones that work and which ones don't. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.